I'm going to show you how to time the Model A engine. And the method I use is uh, the same uh, method that Les Andrews uses in his uh, Mechanics Handbook for uh, Model A's. It's a real good book. We all have it and use it quite a bit. But that's on page 2-18 in his book. And he explains exactly how to do it. And I'm going to try to show you how we do it here. This is pretty much the same way uh, I've been doing it for years. And it's pretty foolproof and you get a good timed Model A. First thing you do, you want your rotor to be over in this direction. That's about where number one is. So I've taken this pin and I reverse it and I push it against the timing wheel looking for the dimple. Now since this rotor is not quite in position, I know where it has to go. It has to go in over here and then the dimple will be there. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to take the fan blade and try to turn your engine over with it. It's not designed to turn the engine over. If you crack it, it uh, a lot of bad things can happen. It can go through your radiator, through your hood, or through your face. So don't turn the engine over with a fan. The other bad thing about that is if you break the crank pulley, they're pretty tender and uh, uh, they're not designed to to drive the engine. They're to, designed to drive the fan and uh, and generator. So don't uh, try to turn it with with the fan. The best way is to put it in third gear and rock the car. And that's what I'm going to do now. Now I'm looking for the for the dimple. Just pulling the car forward until I find it. There, I just passed it. I'll rock back and I'll stop right when I get into it. There. I'm right at it. Now at this point, put it in neutral so if the car moves it won't turn to move your engine. Okay, so now we've got that settled and now I'll take the pin, reverse it and tighten it because you don't want to forget that and leave it like that. Now, the engine is at top dead center, and that means the number one piston is all the way to the top. And we're ready to time the engine. We need the spark lever up. Take the rotor off. And the tools you'll need is a screwdriver to, for the cam screw, and this little wrench that turns the cam around. And I'll show you where we put the wires. I use a, a standard same uh, test light I always use a couple of wires soldered to a six volt light bulb with a couple of alligator clamps on the end so you can tell where power is. So here I've got my test light. I grounded uh, one end to my vacuum line and the other end is here. And if you touch the both terminals, they're both hot and they should be with the, uh, with the key off. Now what happened, that red wire goes up the, to the ignition switch, from the ignition switch down through this cable into the uh, distributor and it's isolated from everything that's grounded and it ends up coming in contact with the uh, movable arm. So if you connect something to the movable arm or the little red wire or the passenger side of the coil, that's all the same. Now I'll turn the key on and we'll time the engine. Now when I turn the key on, my test light went out. That means the points are closed. When I open the points, the test light comes on. And that's what we're going to be looking for. Okay, you loosen the cam screw so your cam can turn around move around. You rotate the cam to the right just where your light goes out. That means your points have just closed. So you stop there and tighten the uh, cam screw. Alright, after the screw has been tightened down, now we want to test it to see if we have good timing. And what I'll do here is move the uh, 
spark lever down about two notches and the light should come on. And if it does, then we've got perfect timing. Now I'm going to pull the spark lever down about two notches and if the light lights, that means we've got perfect timing. Now when I push the spark lever up, the light goes out. When I turn the key off, the light comes back on. And that's how it should be. That circuit is hot um, until you turn the key on and then the point's grounded. And then that side of the coil is grounded. So if you time your engine like that, you, your car should run very well. And again, right after you start it, pull the leap timing uh, lever down. I run it all the way down. A lot of people play with it. Uh, you can argue all day about that. But basically, you find the notch in the timing gear. So set the car to the top dead center. Then loosen the cam screw. Rotate it clockwise just till the light goes out and your light is connected to the red wire at the coil and ground. Rotate it to the right until the light goes out. Tighten the screw down. Go up, pull the spark lever down a couple of notches. If the light lights, you've got good timing. If you didn't quite make it that time, do it again. This, uh, this wrench is good to, to help you do it. You can do it without the wrench. but. Uh, I hope this helps you time your car so you can have happy motoring. Good luck.